Canon EOS webcam utility. It's been updated. Some great news coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. You know I've been following closely with the EOS webcam utility tool. Great news, they've updated it to their first official version, so version one. Before I gave you a number of videos which I can show you about the actual camera itself using a DSLR as a webcam. I had like five videos where I actually broke down how to use an older camera because if you recall they had a list of cameras you could use but I was going down the angle of wait a minute I've got a T2i camera which is not on your list it's very old but I'm actually using that right now with the Canon EOS webcam utility tool so you can see the quality of that so I was basically in the middle of updating my background you might see it's not completely finished but I dropped everything I thought I need to make this video to let you guys know that there has been an update and they released a version one what does that mean well I've been doing some investigation and I want to bring this news to your attention so if I show you the official website what they've done is Canon EOS webcam utility is out and they've made it an official release which means we are proud to announce the release of the official version of our EOS webcam utility software for Windows which lets you turn your compute compatible Canon EOS camera into a high quality webcam using only a USB notice here they're saying compatible Canon EOS luckily I've saved the old better version of the file which allows me to use as a webcam I'm not using the new one yet but I'm going to test it out and see if we can still use the old camera uh, old cameras that are not listed on their website so works with more of your favorite streaming apps now compatible with over 40 Canon cameras before it was only 22 25 so now they've listed more cameras up to 42 great news hopefully your camera is on there because if you already have the camera you're basically going to get a better experience you're going to get this type of quality which is a DSLR at the end of the day from your camera just get a USB cable which I'll put a link in the description if you don't have the USB cable for the camera it's basically a mini USB to a normal USB get a nice long one because you could put your camera far away back to topic so what this means is you they've made even a great video to be honest so Canon hands up to you great guys making content to share and show how to do it as well because sometimes that kind of falls to us where we try and show you how but they've made a great video that video is for models that are listed so I'm going to do a test for my camera which is not listed we'll see what happens and that might be a separate segment because I'll have to do a bit of testing on that so they've got their website they've made it official so now they're supporting all these apps and you can use it as a webcam in these apps Streamlabs, YouTube Live, Zoom well to be honest a lot of these I was using anyway with the old better version but I think now that they've made it confirmed uh, the version itself is going to be supporting to, well they've tested it basically so there is a slight difference to be honest what they've done now is they've got a couple of steps here select your model of camera select the driver select the software download it but there's an extra step which didn't wasn't there before so here's the cameras listed uh, i'll put a link in the description to this site so you can go and check it out because it's going to be handy for you to see if your camera's on there before I used the T6i one I'll show you that in a second so recently added cameras are the red dots which is a number of these T3, SL1, R6, R5, 60D, 70D, 60, 70 I won't bore you with the list so if I go back to my T6i version which I downloaded before you know what I might do this live okay I get a pop-up uh, feedback is important I'll do that in a second I'll move that over to the left hand side so here you'll see in the list I've basically gone T6i drivers and downloads click on that it'll bring you to a page here yeah, I'm on Windows 10 64 bit that's right and here I have Canon EOS utility 1.0 Windows if you remember before it was a beta it's the same size slight difference if I select that now I have to go through registration process whereas before it was just quick download so now you'll have to put your name your email address in uh, opt in or out and I'll do that in a second but yeah basically the news is they've updated it check it and go and download it out and I'm going to do another video I might tag it onto the end of this or I might just let this go out live today and then I'll do another test and put another video out so check the cards and I wonder if you can get the old version you probably can't now because of this 
because there's a new version. So can I make the old version available if you struggle? We'll find out. What we'll do is I'll check if the new version still supports my old camera. If it does, excellent. If not, we'll see what we can do and get you guys with the old cameras still able to use it. Uh, there'll be a few challenges if you have if you get stuck their video is quite helpful but i'll make one about the screen freezing and those issues that you experience i did make another video about how people have had common problems with the dslr as a webcam that would be in the playlist so check that out and i'll see you on one of these videos hopefully i'll make it straight after this so you'll, you'll have to wait long see you on that